Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I recently was talking with Mike Lee from Precision Colors and he was telling me that he's getting a lot of calls from people having problems after they refill their cartridges for the Pro 10 and the Pro 100. And so what could this be? I mean, is it the inks or is it them not performing the refilling process and also the modification as they should? We'll be right back. So, you know, we all get so excited about converting our cartridges for refilling because we're able to do that. There's very few printers that allow you to do that. And the best way, if you're going to choose to go that route, of course, is to use the original cartridges as long as their chips can be reset and you can modify them or at least immediately refill them with the ink of your choice. But this has to be done correctly. And of course, we've talked about that in the past. There's a lot of videos on the correct process of modification of these cartridges, as well as how to refill them properly. Precision Colors in their video section has many videos and also some very, very advanced videos talking about all of the intricacies of the design of these sponge type cartridges, the hydraulics behind it all, and the things you need to watch out for when you are refilling. So the bottom line turns out that you really should not do all eight at the same time. And I thought, well, why not? Why not? I do. Yeah, but see, I've been doing it for a while, so I kind of know how to do it correctly. But if this is your very, very first time, it's best to go ahead and just do one cartridge at a time. But what if you don't have any extra cartridges? Well, you need to look on eBay. Often, you can find cartridges for sale. This will be from people who know darn well. These are pretty valuable at this point. They know, they know the drill. So they know that people are seeking out these empties. So you will find them often available in eBay. When you get them, whether you choose to buy a complete set of them and they are just basically empty and you're gonna modify them, I hope you still have your original cartridges in the printer because the process takes at least a couple of days to perform if you don't have any specialized equipment. Once you remove that factory fill ball and drill out the hole to 5 30 seconds of an inch so that it can accept the plug and cause the correct amount of compression around the stem of the plug so that it seals perfectly, you have to then reset it and you have to then flush it if the cartridge has been basically dried out. You need to flush it out. But if the cartridge internally is still wet, in other words, did it come with a clip rubber banded on? None of these did, as you can see. So these are all dried. I'm gonna to have to flush these out before I can use them. The drying process is the most time consuming part of this whole procedure. And if you just air dry them in a room, it can take days to achieve the correct dry weight of 13 0.6 grams. Make sure you have a very accurate gram scale so that you know that you are actually getting the correct weight reading on it. So 13.6 is the optimal dry condition. You're going to then have to buy some clips for the bottom and then you're going to have to buy some plugs. And once you have flushed them and we're using Windex with ammonia, you can buy in any American grocery store or drugstore. You're gonna then flush them out thoroughly until they are white, including the yellow. The yellow is the most important one. Okay, the yellow has to be flushed out because it reacts with any third-party yellow ink, okay? It's not just PC inks that reacts with it. Any other ink will react with it. It will not occur on the other remaining seven colors. So like I said, if the cartridge is still wet and damp, then you can probably get away with refilling it without flushing it. But if you wanna start completely flushed, then it's something you need to consider doing. So the best thing is to still have your eight original cartridges in your printer and just choose to do one of the ones you buy from eBay. Remove the ball, there are videos for that. Drill it out and begin the flushing procedure. And then once it is clean, snow white, dry it. Now what I do is I have a tray, I lay paper towels on it, 
and I line up all my cartridges and I stick it in a toaster oven at about 100 degrees. That's it, just barely warm. And then 30 minute cycles, and then I measure each one after each cycle. When I reach 13.6, I give it one more short cycle just to make sure. And now I know those cartridges are now ready to be refilled. Do one at a time when you are refilling them, okay? The biggest mistake you can make is mixing your magentas and your cyans because they come in light magenta or photo magenta and regular magenta, full strength magenta. If you flip the two by mistake, in other words, you put regular magenta in a photo magenta cartridge, that said, you're gonna have to reflush it. And there goes your time. You're gonna lose another couple of days if you don't have a toaster oven dedicated for this drying process. So you see what I mean? Be very, very careful. Do one at a time. Do not go into an assembly line situation. One at a time, very, very carefully. In fact, isolate the other cartridges from the one that you are working on and double and triple check that you are actually filling it with the correct ink. The blacks are also the same thing, black and grays for the Pro 100. Don't make a mistake and fill photo black with gray. You're gonna have to suck that ink back out and then maybe flush it again, although it won't be such a bad thing to just add full strength black to one that originally had gray. Yeah, your, your blacks will not be as deep as possible, but it's not as catastrophe like putting full strength cyan in the photo cyan cartridge. You see what I mean? Okay, so be very careful. Take your time. This is the best advice I can give you if you're beginning to do this and you choose to do this on your own accord, okay? No one's telling you you have to do this. In fact, we're not supposed to do this. It's just that we can, we are able to do that. So we should be grateful that we can do that and save ourselves a ton of money when we print. If you're printing for just fun and, and just educating yourself in the art of photo printing, then yeah, this is the way to go. Remember, if you're selling your product, this is a no-no. Refilling is a no-no unless you are refilling somehow with OEM inks. And good luck finding those in bulk form, okay? So that, that is just my, my very quick suggestion and advice to you guys that have Pro 10s and Pro 100s and are considering going to a refilling process. Take your time. The Pro 10 cartridges do not require modification, okay? And they can be refilled when they are empty. There's no problem with that particular yellow ink. You could use third-party pigment yellow ink designed for that printer right on top of your OEM yellow cartridge. There will be no reaction. That only occurs with the Pro 100. Remember, only the Pro 100. People ask me all the time, guys and gals, the Pro 100 yellow is the only one that will react none of the other colors for any of the other printers, okay? So take that home. The Pro 100 is the one that reacts, the yellow. So make sure that when you order ink safe from Precision Colors, you're going to receive a CLI-8 already pre-flushed and modified cartridge. You're gonna to have to take your CLI-42 yellow chip and swap it with that cartridge they provide you. It's a very simple exchange. That yellow cartridge is ready to be reset and refilled the moment you receive it. So you don't have to worry about the yellow flushing. But later on, you're gonna to have to do that anyway because as you take out your original OEM yellow from your printer, you can go ahead and process it, if you will, by doing the ball extraction, the drilling, the flushing, and all of that stuff. All right, thank you so much. Again, just take it easy. Be very, very systematic when you do your refilling, okay? Don't throw everything on a table with all your bottles in there mixed up. That is a disaster waiting to happen, okay? So do one cartridge at a time, isolate the rest on another surface, somewhere across the room. Just work on the one that you are working with, one at a time, and you will have a successful refilling adventure. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And of course, until the next time, as always, Happy printing, and in this case, happy refilling. Bye-bye, everyone.